Our second presenter is Patrick Foley, and Patrick's title is Statistics and the Human Connectome. I want to start by giving you a look inside my brain. <laughs> this is called a connectome. And just like your genome provides a map of your genes, a connectome maps all the connections between your neurons. In mine, we can see some features that are clearly correct. You have the uh, red bridge in the center connecting my left and right hemisphere. And we can also see the blue and purple wires towards the bottom coming out of the screen. Those are my optic nerves that connect to my eyes. But there are some features here that are probably incorrect. For example, this green and white bundle of wires towards the bottom, that's hopefully not biologically real, but is likely due to noise in the MRI data and in the algorithms used to produce this connectome. Now, these random effects are actually really important because surgeons currently use models like this one in order to plan surgeries to, say, cut a blue wire while avoiding a red wire. Doctors seeing patients with traumatic brain injuries also use connectomes in order to diagnose whether or not a patient who has seen a wire be damaged and cut short has that wire regrow over time. Now, I'm a statistician, so when I think about those diagnoses, I'm concerned about their reliability or uncertainty. If you get any over-the-counter test, you don't just have a result, but you can also look up the false positive or false negative rate. That way, if you see something you don't like, you know whether or not to spend the time and the money to use a new test. We should be able to provide similar estimates of error rates for diagnoses using connectomes. These estimates of error rates would be easy to produce if we could take a patient and put them in the scanner over and over again and observe the variability in the connectomes we obtain. But since each scan requires several hours in a very expensive machine, we're using simulations instead. I'm building statistical software that mimics the random noise in MRI data and the randomness in the algorithms used to produce connectomes. With enough simulations, I should be able to estimate the probability that an ordinary connectome will contain false wires, like the green and white bundle in mine. Doctors need to be able to tell their patients not just that it appears as though they've had a important wire regrow in their brain, but also how likely it is that any apparent regrowth may be due to random noise. Thank you. <laughs> 